Hey REM community, it's Maddie, and today I'm bringing you another update video for Remno version 1.2. Uh, we've been listening and there are a lot of new changes that are really cool, uh, so let's just get right into it. So first I'm going to talk about some of the changes for all the pro users, and then I'll talk about the changes universally for all users. So first in pro, we have some improvements to the editor. In the PDF editor, you now have the option to change the page number from the title bar, so it makes it a lot easier to navigate for large PDFs and large files. Next, we've also improved the merge rem feature. Merging a rem will now automatically create an alias for the merged rem, as well as move all of its children to the new parent. So I'll show that by merging paro here uh, with the dog above by using forward slash merge. And you can see that an alias was made for Pero, and all of the children, including images, were also moved. We've also added the hide all test one feature for image occlusions. Now you have the option to hide all occlusions except for the one being tested while you go through your queue. And this way you won't get spoilers for future cards. And you can turn it on or off with this button right here in the middle, or the hotkey would be Alt plus T. So this feature also is available for closed cards, which are not a pro specific feature. Even um, our free users have that one. I thought I'd mention that very briefly right here. So we also have a couple of new exciting experimental features, which are available for pro users. As a brief reminder, all experimental features can be found in the settings and labs, and uh, you can turn them on and off. So the first is the Q cluster selector. And I'll talk a little bit more about the cluster algorithm later in the video, since that applies universally. But this feature allows you to direct your learning uh, from the very start and peri periodically during your study session. So if I turn it on, um, at the start of my queue here, you can see that it's going to ask me which cluster I want to go through first. And I can just choose a uh, cluster, and it'll only show me the, those rem for that cluster. And once I finish this cluster, um, it might pop up again and ask me which one do I want to study from next. So it just gives you more control while you're studying. So the second feature um, are the experimental queue buttons. So enabling this will allow you to turn on a new icon in the queue. So while you're reviewing your cards, you can peek at the document and make changes and uh, you know navigate your REM without actually exiting your queue. So, this is especially helpful if you need to take a moment to deep dive into a particular concept for a refresher, but you don't actually want to lose your spot in the queue or have to actually go to the document view. You also have the switch into folder queue. Now this button will pull up a list of documents or folders that contains that rem flashcard, either in a portal or as part of a different parent chain. And from here, you can decide to switch to another folder to study from, or just get a glimpse of how that REM is connected to all other documents in your knowledge base. So again, these experimental features are geared toward allowing more active and directed, deliberate learning from your knowledge base. Definitely give them a try and uh, let us know what you think. All right, now let's move on to some of the universal upgrades for all of our users. So uh, piggybacking off of that, let's talk about some of the upgrades to the queue. So at the top right corner of the queue, you'll see a new folder icon. So this feature allows you to quickly search um, for your most frequently studied documents so you can switch back and forth between them um, during your study session. So this could be useful if you're studying for multiple classes at once or if you want to resurface ideas from documents for your Zettelkasten workflow. So next is the improved cluster space repetition algorithm. So normally RemNote will cluster groups of similar REM during our study sessions to resurface information more efficiently and more effectively for your learning. And this is based on how you've linked all your REM together with tags, with references and the hierarchy, so on and so forth. So to toggle these settings, click on your settings, go to the Q tab and scroll down to ordering. And here you can enable if you want your REM note to cluster based on documents, references, tags or hierarchy. And likewise, if you disable all four of the cluster settings, your flashcards will be presented completely at random. So um, that gives you more control over how you want to curate your actual study sessions. Do you want to see them all randomly or do you want them to be clustered um, for more directed learning? 
Next, we've also added a few new keyboard shortcuts to improve your workflow. So I'm just gonna open up the, the shortcuts menu with the question mark here. And so the first one is using Control plus Alt plus L, and this will turn any child rem into a list. And you can also delete an entire rem now using Control, Alt, Shift, and Backspace. We've also added the double slash option to pull up the command menu. So previously, if you just type one forward slash, it would bring up the command menu. Um, but now you have an option in settings, keyboard shortcuts, uh, to enable the double slash to trigger the command menu. So for any users who use a lot of slashes, this could be really helpful to not bring up that giant pop up every single time. Uh, a few more notable editor improvements have also been made. As I mentioned earlier, the close card types also have the hide all test one feature. And viewing card metadata also gives a lot more information. So you can view metadata for your rem cards by typing forward slash metadata. Um, and in addition to showing the ease level, phase of learning, last practice, etc., you can now also see your response time, the practice date, the interval, the target, and the delay. So the delay shows how much time after your card was initially due um, has passed. So for example, if one of your cards was scheduled to be practiced again on Friday, but you didn't end up actually seeing that card until Sunday, then you have a delay for that card of two days. So you can also hover your cursor over the question marks to understand what all these data points mean. So next are a few improvements at the document table. You can now toggle on or off the ability to see only top level rem in the table. And you can also now right click on any document in the table to view the document settings. So you can study from them easier, delete them, export, view the graph, um, etc. all from the document table. And finally, we've redesigned the RemNote system for faster load times, smoother interface, UI, and fixed a ton of issues and glitches. So thank you all so much for the continued help with reporting bugs. It helps tremendously. So in order to move all of your data to the new faster system though, everyone should expect a one-time upgrading phase when they open RemNote uh, after the update drops. So you might see a loading uh, symbol in the sidebar for a while. Don't freak out. It's all part of the plan. We're just moving all that data into the new faster system. All right. And that's all for this one, guys. Thanks again for the support as usual. And I'll see you guys around in the Discord community and the forum and on Twitter. So until next time.